I've always had a fascination with the cosmos. Sometimes it's hard to conceive just how small we really are. But there is still one celestial jewel that will always connect us to the cosmos. The moon. Not only is it a reminder of the expansive universe, but a beacon of inspiration. It once was the destination of dreams. Now, it invites us back. Or maybe I should say, me, to explore the depths of my imagination and push myself past my horizon of possibilities. And so, that's what I'll do. So this is a lens from TT Artisan. It's a 500 millimeter f6.3 for only $329. Now it does have some kafits though. It's fully manual, so there's no autofocus, there's no optical image stabilization. So there is kind of some limitations when it comes to this lens and what we can do with it. But I think that the optical image stabilization will be not too big of a problem because the IBIS on the S5 II and the S5 II X are really good. The big thing that I want to do with this lens though is get a epic moonrise shot. It's something I've never done before, like with a lens at least of this focal length. And doing a little bit of research about it too, it's actually a little bit harder than it sounds. And it only happens about every 27 days. And we want to get it when the moon is full well, because it will just look more epic. And if it's cloudy, then well, you're out of luck and you'll just have to try again, at least within that few day window, if not in a couple months. And so in the meantime, we got to figure out something that we can do with this lens to entertain us. And I'm going to be headed up to Wyoming soon. And I think the most obvious thing I could do while I'm there is get some wildlife shots. At least that's the hope. A lot of what's happening in this video is based on hope. So uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. video tour guide here welcome back to the channel so we made it out here to beautiful Wyoming to get some wildlife shots with the 500 mil lens yeah now we just got to find the wildlife though Yeah, I definitely want to try and get a little closer. So there's some moose fighting just right over here. We're going to try and get closer to them. A little sketchy though. Moose are definitely something you don't 
You want to tread lightly. Shutters a little too. What are you at? I'm at 80. Oh. And there's no stabilization. I said 10,000, 20,000. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's definitely some usable stuff though. So. Last night, super cool getting those shots of the moose, but the lighting was, I only had like five minutes of lighting. I don't even know how those pictures are gonna turn out. So I woke up early tonight to get the sunrise with some much nicer lighting. me because yep <clears throat> you do not want to mess with moose moose will mess you up the sun's about to come up soon I'd love to get some shots right when the sun comes up of these guys operating temperatures of the cameras they might die it is really cold out here It'll definitely warm up though once the sun's up, so. We also wanna watch for any moose that are bedded down because, yeah, they could just pop up literally right next to me and that would not, that would be a little sketchy. So I'm on a nine millimeter lens right now, but I think uh, wildlife, we got it covered. I did learn some things about using this manual lens, especially in this cold of weather, but uh, it's definitely still usable. 
we got to figure out what to do next though because we still got a couple weeks until the full moon so I couldn't help it man I had to stop and get a picture because man this is just crazy the frost on these branches man look at this it's crazy I'm getting too distracted by all the stuff man the views are just crazy out here for this time of year it was a lot of fun I'm not gonna lie getting those pictures you know I've been around wildlife before and I grew up around horses but still that moose got really close to me it was about 10 15 feet from me and I wasn't moving it was walking towards me until I kind of decided it was time to back up. We've still got some time before the moonrise attempt, I'm calling, because, well, I don't know if it's gonna work, to be honest. <laughs> In the meantime, we gotta figure out something else to do with this lens. I was thinking that maybe we could do some portrait photography. I don't know if I've even seen what that could look like on a 500 mil lens. It might suck, but I don't know. At least it'll keep us entertained before this moonrise attempt. This moonrise shot should be happening on the 26th of December, which is in less than a week. I know it's just going to sneak up on me because of the holidays and family stuff happening that week. And of course I could just try again in a month, but I just, I really want to get it on my first try. I think, I think it'll just make the video cool. Today's the big day. It's the day that the full moon will be rising. I still honestly have no idea where I'm gonna get this shot. I just haven't had much time, you know, holidays. Hopefully I can figure out something. I've gotta find a spot where the moon will come up from the horizon around 4.30 or so, so we can actually see the horizon. I'm kinda of stressed right now because the app that I'm using is just not doing a good job at telling me where the moon's gonna come up. My original plan was to go to this park but it just wasn't a good spot for it. And uh, right now it's saying that it's going to be, it's gonna be rising about right there, which is definitely different than uh, what I was hoping for, but we're running out of light and I, don't, I literally don't even know if the moon's gonna rise there because it's not doing a good job of telling me. So I'm just gonna set up and just be ready. Who's in light? And I still have no idea where the moon is. I just feel like it's gonna pop up not in the place that I'm thinking and I'm gonna I'm gonna miss it, right? I might download another app and see if I can get a better idea where it's popping up. So I don't think this spot's gonna work. I think I gotta move. I downloaded another app and it's coming up like right in the middle, almost right in the middle of the mountain. I mean, <laughs> this thing is this is this is more difficult than I anticipated. I'm just driving right now, trying to get as far this way south as I can because I think it'll pop up right here between these mountains if I can get close enough to the mountain but I don't know I, I'm literally just guessing at this point I have no idea it says that I can't park here I just went down this random dirt road but we're doing it this spot's not gonna work I gotta move I can't go this way because there's like a bike trail so I, I just gotta move I'm gonna miss it. It's gonna be too dark. I see the moon. It's behind a cloud. It's just coming over the mountain and there's still a tiny bit of time. I just need a spot. It's coming right now. Holy shit. Oh, 
Let's go. Let's go, man. I'm getting it right now. Oh, man. I don't know why that was so dramatic. Just like the apps, I trusted them too much or something. But yeah, I'm just at the end of somebody's driveway right now. It's a little bright. I can see detail though. I, I didn't know what to expose for because it's just, it's a little too dark out here to be able to kind of still see the mountains. I can see the mountains and I can see the detail in the moon. So, dude, there's even like a little cloud in there too. Oh, I, I got to get a picture. Yeah, I hope it uh, turns out. I mean, it's above the peak right now. Hopefully I can mess with it a bit and post and we can, you know, pull back the exposure of the moon. If I need to, I'll come back tomorrow, but I don't know. I feel like it's the shot. The biggest problem is just that the moon is so bright. In order to see detail, it's got to be bright outside. So, well, that might be about it. I just want to thank TT Artisan for sending me this lens to, well, create this video. There's honestly just not really a ton of options out there for a telephoto lens like this in L mount. And I get this lens has its limitations, like no optical image stabilization, and it's fully manual. But I think with the stabilization at least, the S52 and S52X embody stabilization handle bit really well. So interesting development in this whole Moonrise Quest video. Now I got my Moonrise shot months ago. This video is almost done, but after looking at it in post, it was a little dark. Well, I woke up this morning to let my dogs out, and what do you know? There's a full moon right in front of my face. I wasn't sure if this shot was gonna make it in the video though, because there is some clouds in the way, but there's this tiny just window where I can see the moon setting. And so now I'm getting a moon set shot. There's some power lines in the way, and so I'm a little sad about that. But hey, I can't complain too much because I was able to get a full moonrise shot and a full moon set shot. Now there is one last thing. I kind of have this curse where when I do something new like this, I have to try and one up myself. And so I wanted to see if I could push the idea of this video just a bit further. Just arrived to the spot where I'm gonna try and get a deep sky picture with this lens. I've never attempted something like this before. No idea how it's gonna go, but I gotta try because I'm out here where there is no light pollution at all, and you can see every single star in the sky. Kind of makes you feel real small once you can see how many stars are out there. All right. I didn't even tell you guys what the temperature is out here. It's four degrees Fahrenheit, which is really cold. I don't even think the operating temperature of the camera is rated for that, but Lumix has never let me down, so hopefully it doesn't this time. Well, I just finished taking the photos. I feel like I messed up. It's my first time doing this, so I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> but yeah, we got them. We'll see how they turn out. I won't be able to know for, you know, 
couple days. I gotta drive home and then process, do some post-processing on it all. But I, I feel like, yeah, I feel like I messed something up. And if it doesn't work out, then we'll just have to try again.